Thank you. Thank you, Nikos. Thank you, dear minister. Thank you very much for the good meeting we just had and for your welcome here at this uh, wonderful island. We just had 20 spare minutes to pay a quick visit to the fantastic museum you have where the history of this millennium for 9,000 9, years you were already mastering the arts. I am really, really very happy to have the opportunity of visiting you. I have come to Cyprus unhappily not as a tourist, but to meet you as well as the President and the Defence Minister after having heard the strong message delivered by the President Anastasiadis, President of the Republic, at the last European Council, and also having heard you many times at the Council of Foreign Affairs. To discuss recent events and the deteriorating situation in the Eastern Mediterranean, mainly because of uh, uh, exploration and drilling operations performed by Turkey in contested areas. And I want to come and see for myself to listen to Cyprus' concerns and to work on a way out of this complex situation. To start, let me underline that the European Union is firmly supportive of the Republic of Cyprus and its sovereignty and sovereign rights. My message is a message of a strong solidarity. The Cyprus concerns, your concerns, are the European Union concerns. And you have difficult relations with Turkey. In general, these relations are currently facing important and difficult challenges. On the Turkish drilling, the European Union is continuously demonstrating its unwavering support to and the solidarity with Cyprus, as expressed in various European Council conclusions and statements, and most recently in the Foreign Affairs Council in May, and also shown in concrete measures taken. This being the situation and expressing our solidarity and concerns, I think also that we have to say that uh, we need uh, to try to do our best. And you know, and I know you are also very much interested on improving the relations with Turkey through an open dialogue in order to try to avoid an escalation then could be very damaging for all of us. For that, the delimitation of exclusive economic zones and the continental shelf must be discussed in good faith, fully respecting international law and the principle of good relations between neighbors. Because at the end of the day, we should try to be good neighbors, and that's why the European Union was invented, to foster good neighbors' relations and to find solutions through dialogue and negotiations. In this respect, we welcome the invitation by the government of Cyprus to Turkey to negotiate in good faith the maritime delimitation between their relevant coasts. And on that, we will be also engaging because regional stability is a priority for the European Union, and I hope that the next Foreign Affairs Council, with your contribution, will help clarify the options and the way forward in order to solve these problems and improve our relations with Turkey.